I'm, um, I'm Peter Rober. I am a psychologist and a family therapist from Belgium. I'm a professor at the Catholic University of, Bel of, uh, of Leuven. And I am um, I'm interested in dialogue, dialog dialogical practices, but I'm mostly interested in things that are not said. In silence, for instance. And I'm especially interested in the what never fills the silence, but what also remains silence. For instance, I'm interested in family secrecy, in things that are not said in families, but maybe they are so important that they are not said, or they are so difficult to talk about because there's so much, so much emotions involved. And one of the things that I, I'm more interested in is in silence not as a pathology, but also as a sign of love, in the sense that by keeping something silent, maybe I take care of other people. That this is also one of the meanings of silence, a dialogical meanings of silence. And the first idea about that was that I, I started to understand that the silence is not an emptiness, but that it is filled with a lot of voices that are not heard. And one of the things that I'm, I'm interested in also is the silence of the therapist. In the sense that while a therapist is talking to, to a family or to a client, that the therapist is also talking to himself or herself, and that the things that the therapist is talking about to him or herself are often not talked about with the client. And I've, I've done a lot of research about that and uh, a lot of thinking about that, about what, what it is that we tell ourselves while we are doing therapy and also how this is connected with things that cannot be told in the family. For instance, um, sometimes when things are difficult to talk about in the family, very often therapists can feel it or can imagine it before it is said in the session. And then sometimes when I as a therapist find a way to talk about it, to give it words, and sometimes somebody else in the family can also talk about it. So very often it's important for us to listen to the silence, to the inner voices. And in that sense silence is dialogical too. Okay, that's all. And the rest I can I can be silent for 5 minutes if you want. To. <laughs>